Hello everyone, it is Brody Ty back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you an update on my new cruise ship. Now, this ship is um, the same class as my other ship, the Virtuoso Crystal, and um, it's not fully complete. Most of the outside is done. The other side still has some work to be done, but um, also along with that, I have um, some decks here and there um, finished, and just stuff all around, like the upper decks, I have some stuff and yeah so if you didn't see my other virtuoso crystal um you will see or if you did you would notice that this was on that ship which is the aura lounge so it was inspired by um the quantum class on royal or caribbean and then this ship is on azopods it's the first time i've ever done azopods but they're not the best but um i think they're pretty good and yeah you can see this side isn't done so let's fly around and go inside. Now, um, I've I've a long I I started this a long time ago, but I haven't really gotten time. But with everything going on now, I decided to come back and see if I could record some record some stuff. So I just had night vision on, so you could see like the underhaul and stuff. But I'm gonna turn that off now. So here is one of the passenger gangways. Here, you'd swipe your key card, metal detector. This is where you put your baggage and stuff to make sure you don't have any dangerous weapons. And yeah, so here are the elevator lobbies. Um, over here would be a cargo hold, but I haven't gotten to that. And this would just be crew hallways and offices and rooms like that. So, um, same thing over here. And then if we go here, we have another gainway. And then right here is where you'd like sell if you're like leaving. To go on like an island, they may have like water bottles here to sell if it's like a hot day. So yeah, let's. I'm not gonna go up the stairs because there's nothing really up here, and most of them aren't filled out. I guess I am. So here is I think deck three. Actually, wait. Before I go to deck three, I'm gonna go back to deck two. I did make a sample room. So deck two. This is a sample room. Going here, we have a full bathroom, a light, a flower pot with a TV, shelving here, a porthole, two beds, and more shelving over here. So, this would be a standard stateroom for deck two. So, let's fly back up to deck three. So, if we go deck three, elevator lobbies, and then here is the theater. So it is two stories, theater, and you have the stage up here, seatings, and then you have just different level seatings. So you have this level, so then you can see, and then you have the very top level up here. And then you have stairs, of course, whoops, over here, stairs, of course, going down. So you can climb up there easy. And then right here is the inside of the glass elevators, and it goes all the way up, and we have like some glass features with some water designs and stuff which I think is relatively cool here we have the stairs so if we move aft of the ship we have a spiral st staircase going up to deck 4 if we go over here this is guest services so this is where you'd go if you have like um, a not working key card you lost your key card or other means like that and then we have it on both sides because if you haven't been, if you've never been on a cruise ship, these are always packed full of line. The line's always packed. Now here is um, I haven't named this yet, but this is like a nice like boardwalk kind of thing, and we have multiple shops and stuff. And if you weren't on, if you if you've seen my other ship, you'll notice some similar sh shops and names. So here is the cookie parlor. You can get fresh baked cookies and. Um, soft serve ice cream and you have just some seating here if we go on the other side there's more seating we have the Firestone Pizzeria so this is where you can get some fresh pizza and you have the classic checker pattern floor and you can get some soda over here and yeah so if we go over here further aft we have the Seaside Grill this is one of the steak this is the paid steakhouses so yeah, we have just seating in here, and the kitchen where you can look in there and see what's being cooked and see like your steak and stuff, which I think is pretty cool. Now if we go across, we have the bar of the the ship, the Silver Jade, 
So this is where you can get a drink. Which, in most spots on the ship, you can get a drink, but that's just one specific one. And then here, of course, is Starbucks, where you can get your coffee and sandwiches. And then if we go further aft, we have Seaside Gifts, which is the main souvenir shop for the cruise ship brand. So you can get your ship models and stuff. And then here is the Seven Soul, sorry, Seven C Jewelry Shop, where you can get your fancy, expensive jewelry. Alright. So we have just lots of seating here, and here we have another opened up area with elevator lobbies that go all the way up, another glass features. Here is like a live, sh like like a stage where you can have, um, where people like perform music or comedian shows and stuff like that, where you can just, you can just get a drink and just relax and watch, or listen. And then here is the art gallery. So they'll put on art galleries and auctions for the beautiful art that you're seeing here. And yeah, so here we go back to, this is the second elevator lobby. We go more aft. This is a cruise ship, like model would be here. And then this is the Galaxy, Cas Galaxy Casino. And I added this like walk around it, so for the kids that need to get on like the other side or get across, they don't have to go through because um, smoking's allowed in here. So we have a bar, of course. We have the old classic styled um, uh, vending or no, sorry, not vending machines, casino, uh, casino slot machines. And then here we have like the newer, nicer ones with like the full size screens and bright pictures and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And then over here we have the tables. So this is the poker table, roulette, and just more of those. Yeah, so let's go back here. And I haven't put anything here, so we're just going to fly across. And what I was talking about early, this, earlier, this is the Aura Lounge. So I think this is really cool. You have like the giant class like, screen. Because if you know, um, the Quantum class on Royal Caribbean have these... Um, on the back of their ship. I'm pretty sure it's called like the 70 or the 270, something like that, where they can display like different like images depending on like the show and stuff. So this is where they perform, you know, certain performances and stuff. And then here would be like stairwells to go down for the, the, the performers so they can put on makeup and dress up and stuff like that. So you have different kinds of arranged seating, couches, and then of course you have this really cool looking bar and then if you aren't so lucky to get a seat down here, you have um, the regular seatings up here. And yeah. So let's just fly back over here. If we go, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is deck five, right next to the, the, like, the boardwalk. And you have just seatings and like a walkway of just where you can just walk or just sit down, watch people. And then if we go in here, this is the lifeboats. So in a terrible case that you have to leave the ship, you would go here and get in the lifeboat safe and sound. So let's fly over here. So if we go on, what is this, deck five, I think? This is the first row of um, cabins, staterooms. So here is an indoor, whoops, an indoor cabin. You have a bathroom, a light, bed, shelving, more storages, storage, um, a TV with a flower, and you can see down to the boardwalk, which I think is pretty cool. So let's go back. If we go over, I might put a floor, so we're just going to have to go here. So if we go in, oh, well, there isn't anything in here yet. But it'll be pretty much the same, except for there would be a um, balcony, which is nice. So, if we, I think that is everything I have over here, um, oh wait, right here, above the boardwalk, we have something similar to Royal Caribbean's, um, Oasis class in their central park, so you have, like, this nice, um, garden area, with, like, waterfall, glass feature thing, and just seatings, and you can just relax here, it's, like, a nice day outside, and you have, like, different shops, which I haven't filled out yet, but... I'm in the progress of doing that. Yeah, so let's fly. Actually, let's go to the very back of the ship. I have something that's never been on a ship before, which 
is the very first ever lagoon in the back of the ship. So a giant swimming lagoon. You can hang out here, you can swim up here, get a drink. And then another cool thing I have up here is a ropes court. Courts, course, every time I screw that up. This is a ropes course. So you can just jump up here and yeah, which I think is pretty cool. So let's just fly up to the very top of the ship. Here is mini golf, which I haven't finished, but I will. And you have some just cool mini golf here. And then over here, which I think is pretty cool, based off of Norwegian, one of their ships, is the walk the plank. So you can put a harness on, and they attach you to here, and you can walk the plank, which I think is pretty cool. So if we go over here, here we have a basketball court, full-size basketball court, where you can they can have put on tournaments, uh, free play, volleyball, soccer, all stuff like that. Which I think is pretty cool. And then here, which would be like a like a kind of like a nightclub bar stuff up here that I haven't done yet. Yeah, so let's go forward and we'll go to the pool deck. So right here is the pool deck. And if I sh when I showed you earlier, you have you can have the look down to that like Central Park area. And you have a bar here to get a drink and enjoy yourself on a nice sunny day. And there would be like lounge chairs here and stuff, of course. And then hot tubs, what I haven't put in yet. And then here is a pool. And it swims across in clear glass so you can look down the Central Park area. I'm not going to name it Central Park, but I'm just saying Central Park because it's refer referencing the what is called on the Oasis class ships by Royal Caribbean. And you have uh, three flat screen TVs, so you can view from whatever side you're on. You're on this side or that side. You have screens. But if you're over here in this pool, you have one here. And this is just another swim up bar. So let's go in here in the very front of the ship. So if we go through here, we have elevator lobbies again. And if we just fly through here, here is the fitness area. I haven't uh, finished any of it really. I've started some of it, but you have um, the locker rooms here. You can get dressed, take a shower, and then uh, bathrooms over here, sinks. So yeah, if we just go over here, we have like a barbell set. We can just, and then um, some like tables, um, trending, or, uh, oh, what is this? Oh gosh, I'm completely blank spacing tread machine oh my gosh i literally can't think of what this is called but this is what you walk on a treadmill sorry i'm ugh, today is a rough day um this yes a treadmill here and then over here you have a spin class so this is where you can do a spin class and stuff and yeah so this is where you can um just bike and take spin classes and then over here is a uh, yoga class yeah so let's go back over here outside and fly up so here's the second deck of the pool deck which I haven't put anything but it would just be a bunch of chairs and stuff and then here is something really cool I think these are like the four like super nice suites so there's two on both sides and if we go in here you have a nice private deck with seatings your own hot tub and then two different stories so which I think are pretty cool like they're very nice and yeah so I'm pretty sure that's all I have for you guys of course we have the bow and the helicopter pad but yeah I'm pretty sure that's everything um, I will be um, continue uh, looking at my channel because I will be posting um, more frequently now with everything going on. So I'll have a lot of time on my hand. So um, please uh, like this video, comment below, and I'll tr really try my best to get back to you. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.